good evening let's go through the analysis of ac circuits first i am considering an ac circuit with a resistance only consider a resistance r is connected across a sinusoidal voltage supply which is given by v is equal to vm sin omega t if it is connected like this a current i will start flow through the circuit the instantaneous value of the current is given by i and maximum value is represented by capital i or im if alternating voltage is applied like this Firstly, during the positive half cycle, current will flow from one direction and in the negative half cycle, current will flow in the opposite direction. That is, alternating current will flow through the circuit depending upon the polarity of the source voltage. According to Kirchhoff's law, we know that the total applied voltage is equal to drop in resistance. That is, I can represent the total instantaneous voltage applied V is equal to the drop in resistor that is VR. And that I can represent the total instantaneous voltage applied V is equal to I instantaneous current multiplied by resistance of the circuit. That is, this expression can be modified as the instantaneous value is given by Vm sin omega t is equal to i into r that is instantaneous value of current i flowing through the circuit is given by vm by r into sin omega t this is the expression for instantaneous value of current flowing through the circuit and from this i can clearly explain that the maximum current will be maximum when sin omega t is equal to 1 or omega t is equal to 90 degree Therefore, the maximum value of current Im can be given by the expression Vm divided by R. Therefore, this expression can be modified as instantaneous value I is equal to Im sin omega t. Therefore, V is equal to Vm sin omega t, I is equal to Im sin omega t. And from these two expressions, I can clearly conclude that Voltage is in a phase sin omega t and current is also in a phase sin omega t. That is, in a purely resistive circuit, voltage and current are in same phase or there is no phase difference between voltage and current in a purely resistive circuit. Therefore, I can represent the waveform diagram of a purely resistive circuit as if this is a waveform. I can represent the voltage and current waveforms as if this is a voltage waveform. This is pi, this is 2 pi. And I can clearly draw the current waveform in the same phase as this. That is voltage and current are crossing. This is a voltage waveform. This is a current waveform. Voltage and current are crossing the x-axis through same points. If this is 0, this is a maximum value Vm. This is a maximum value Im. And the instantaneous values are given by V is equal to Vm sin omega t, I is equal to Im sin omega t. This is a waveform diagram for a purely resistive circuit. And I can also draw a phasor diagram for a purely resistive circuit. Let us consider voltage as a reference phase. If voltage is an instantaneous value, voltage is a reference phase, then I can represent the phasor diagram or the phasor current phasor. Along the same line or that is the phase difference between voltage and current is zero or voltage and current are in same phase. So this is a phasor diagram. Phasor diagram of a purely resistive circuit and this is a waveform for a purely resistive circuit. Next I have to determine the power consumed in a purely resistive circuit. We have instantaneous power P is given by the product of voltage and current. That is in a purely resistive circuit, it is given by Vm sin omega t into Im sin omega t. That is equal to Vm Im sin square omega t. This is the expression for instantaneous power. And that is given by an express sin square omega t as 1 minus cos 2 omega t by 2. Therefore, by expanding, we get Vm Im by 2 minus Vm Im by 2 into cos 2 omega t. 
from this expression it is clear that instantaneous power consists of two parts that is first one is vmim by 2 and second one is vmg depends upon the frequency angular frequency that is this is a constant part and this is a fluctuating part and by integrating the expression of instantaneous value of power we can show that the average the average value of the power consumed over one full cycle is equal to vm im by 2 that is p average is equal to vm im divided by 2 because the average value of this component over one full cycle is equal to zero that is integrating this within the limit zero to two by we get the value of this as zero and the average value of power or one complete cycle is only vm im by two and i am modifying this expression as vm by root two into im by root two and this is nothing but maximum value divided by root two gives the rms value that is the power is equal to v rms into i rms that is in a purely resistive circuit the power consumed is given by the product of v rms and i rms that's all about a purely resistive circuit thank you